Okay, this is it. The Olympic gold medal match in Paris, Brazil against the USA this Saturday. This is the USA's first Olympic final for the women's national soccer team since London 2012. And they've made it there with just a resilient, gritty display against Germany in the semi-finals. And that has really summed up this US women's national team throughout the tournament under Emma, Emma Hayes. They've excelled defensively. Germa has been sensational at centre-back. Uh, Naya has been wonderful in goal. And then with that trident of Smith, Swanson and Rodman up top, they can beat any team. And they've done that to get to this gold medal match against Brazil. For Brazil, it's all about sending legendary forward Marta out on top. She's going to retire after this. And they had a stunning win against Spain in the semifinals. Nobody expected them to be the world champions. And Brazil really struggled through the group stages. Had a really tough group stage draw with Spain and Japan. Lost both those games narrowly. But they've got better as the tournament has gone on. And they look like they've peaked at the perfect time. So this is going to be an intriguing matchup at the Parc de Prance in Paris. In terms of the keys to winning this game for the US and winning another Olympic gold, number one, I think they just have to stop the counterattacks. We saw against Japan and Germany in the knockout rounds that the US is a little bit susceptible to transitions, to giving up chances on the break. And they really relied on Germa uh, and the other defenders to come up big in key moments. In the last game against Germany, Sam Coffey came back. I feel like she was left on her own a little bit at times in central midfield. There was a lot of balls being played around her. Uh, but Rose Laval, Lindsay Horan, maybe have to sit deeper, use that experience to make it a more solid game. And Brazil will really try and pack that midfield area. So that is a battle that the USA really needs to win if they're going to win Olympic gold. The second key for me is just watch out for that high press from Brazil. Marta will be back in the squad. Obviously, Portillo has been the star and scored some big goals in the knockout round so far. And Brazil really press high uh, with that 3-4-3 formation. Very flexible. Uh, we saw how the US struggled against that back three that becomes a back five, wing backs, a lot of rotations in the midfield. They struggled that against Japan in the quarterfinals. And it'll be a very similar game, I think, uh, against Brazil in this final. And, you know, revenge as well is key for Brazil. They lost to the US Women's National Team in both the 2004 and 2008 Olympic gold medal matches. Marta remarkably played in that 2004 final in Athens 20 years ago. So I feel like revenge will be on the minds of the Brazilian players a little bit. But of course, this is about Marta trying to send her out on top. And it feels like she's got one big moment left in her. The US will be hoping not, uh, but the soccer world, everybody will be uh, really hoping that Marta can go out on top and this would be a storybook ending to her legendary, incredible career. And the third and final key for me is that the US women's national team just play to your strengths. Emma Hayes has done a brilliant job of just managing the way through the tournament, managing the path, managing this team, getting the best players out there and asking them to go again and again. Hasn't been much rotation, but that's led to some really good chemistry and just everybody knowing exactly what they need to do for this US team. Set pieces will be key. Um, the US has a lot of good players who can attack the ball um, in the box. And Brazil did struggle um, against Spain in the semi final from those kind of situations. I think that's something the US will really focus on. And of course, just get the ball to that trident of Smith, Rodman, and Swanson as much as possible. Nine of 11 goals they've scored between the three of them uh, for the US at this Olympics. Absolutely magic tournament from them. And the USA will be hoping that they have a little bit more magic left in them uh, for this final in Paris this weekend. So it all comes down to this. Head over to Pro Soccer Talk on NBCSports.com for all the latest analysis, reaction, preview, how to watch information. We'll have a live blog for the final as Brazil try and finally get um, that Olympic gold in the, in the against the US in the final. But the US, they are going for a fifth Olympic gold medal, their first since London 2012. And right now, it just seems there's a bit of destiny and fate about this Emma Hayes side. They haven't been the most free-flowing, brilliant team throughout this tournament, but they have been so resilient, getting the job done against Japan, against Germany in the knockout rounds to get to this final. They are the heavy favourites to USA, but Brazil has shown by beating Spain in the semifinals, they should not be underestimated. And of course, that fate, that destiny storyline is swirling around Marta as well as she returns after suspension. So it's going to be a really, really great final in Paris. Brazil against the USA. Cannot wait for this one. Let's see if the USA can finish off this great Olympic journey with a gold medal and be on top of the podium in Paris.
Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.